Today we're installing Mad Jack's fender flares designed for a club car precedent. Included in the kit are the mounting rivets, the rear flares, and the front flares. To do this, we're going to use a 9 30 seconds drill bit, a marking pin, safety goggles, and a cordless drill. Now let's get started. To begin our fender flare installation, if you look on the rear of the flare itself, there it says precedent LF for left front or RF for right front. We have the left front. We're going to get started. You'll notice a small notch on the back side of the flare. This is to cover where the strut cover goes. Now we're going to place the flare along our side panel here. And then the front needs to go with the curve of the front fascia. Once you're happy with the location of your flare, you can mark your holes so we can drill. Now we're ready to drill out our holes. Remember to wear your safety glasses. Now that we have our holes drilled, we can take our supplied push pins, push in through the flare and into the fascia and the side skirt. Now we're going to repeat this process on the front passenger side. Now that we have our front flares installed, we're going to move to the rear driver side. You'll notice there's a tab that comes off of the front of the flare. This will go under the rear body. Also, the rivet need to sit flush on the underbody here. And then the curvature of the bottom of the flare needs to roll with the underbody on the rear side of the car. Once you have your flare in place, you can mark the holes. Now that you have your holes marked, be sure to wear your safety glasses and drill all six holes out. Now that we have all of our holes drilled, we're going to use our push pins, push through the flare, and into the rear body. Now that we have this side attached, we're going to repeat these steps on the passenger side. Now that your rear flares are attached, you're finished installing your Mad Jack's fender flares designed for the club car precedent. 